Hey everybody, Skyrolink here. Welcome back to another episode of Kicker's Uprising. Sorry for not uploading yesterday. Uh, I just decided to like, you know, let hardcore like get in on the action. So I just let yesterday be hardcore day and then I'll go back to uploading the next day. So last time we did chapter 15, Mysterious Invaders and learned about the Arum and took down one of their bases. And just now I'm gonna chill through the day playing the rings. Anyway, in this episode we're going to be doing chapter 16, but before we go off, I want to show off my gear. I'm going to be using shock orbitars today. That's about it. And then powers, I just added crisis recovery. That's it. That's very helpful. I'm glad I got that. Alright, so... We're going to be doing chapter 16. Let's move out. Alright. Um... I don't know if there's an intensity gate, but just in case, I'm going to be playing on 7.0. So let's go. Oh, look at these. Take out those targets, ships, yes. If you shoot these, you take down the ships. Which is Halloween. Uh, and you get hearts. So it was confirmed, those never cuties in the last level were from Hades. I like that. I'm simply killed you. Palatina, he is hilarious. Seems like awfully poor design for these ships to have their weak spots exposed. Or you can just thank me for the user-friendly interface. He's saying that you exposed the ship's weak spots? I attached large markers to the ship's exteriors that connect to their engines. In less technical terms, I use my power of weak point exposure. Hey, thanks. Anything to help you take down the arm fleet. Yeah, anything. We've arrived at the arm line. There's just one problem. What is it? There doesn't seem to be any way in. Really? There's not a single entry? Doesn't look 
look like it. And we can't just bust it. We can't. There's a shield to protect us it's on their way out. But we always find a way in there, Palutena. So now what? Just go home and order a pizza? I do have a coupon. You two have more pedestrian taste than I expected. Don't curse the darkness. Light a candle. When freaky aliens give you lemons, make freaky alien lemonade. Like this. Well, that's one way to do it. That was awesome. Now just pass through the ship to enter the RMI. It's like a straw stuck in an orange. Commencing Operation Hive infiltration. Yeah, that's one of my favorite whole, like, freaking Hades moments. When freaky aliens give you lemons, make freaky alien lemonade. I'm impressed I even did that without dying. I jinxed myself. I'm gonna die now. Watch it happen. Now that we're in the Aurum Hive, we're one step closer to stopping their fleet. Right, so the next step is to shut down the Hive's power generator. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna go on... And we're already on room number three, so we have those doors. Yeah. All right. So let's go. I missed something, probably. Doing so, they lost some of their own troops and took out the armed forces. I am thankful for that bit of good news. Oh, you're welcome. I mean, yeah, your boy Hades, he loves destruction, so honestly. Thanks. You can't really tell how he feels about that. You can't do anything now, sucker. Die. Crisis recovery. I have to you. Wow. Okay, I predicted my death. Predicted it. I predicted my death. I think maybe there's a six million dollar chance to regain. I think. All right. Wait, I'm almost dead already? You gotta be kidding me. Alright, uh, uh, whoa, uh, I'm out of here. Alright, got a little bit of health. These aren't too bad. Uh, be patient. Just gonna keep on mailing and keep on mailing. Yep, and that puts the jump pad. Of course, that doesn't deactivate the freaking electric floor. Oh wait, what? I thought that was a secret. I thought I discovered a secret. Oh well, so that is isn't very sturdy, so we have to move very quickly. And I failed. Okay, it's dead. Spinning enemies, those are easy to take down. What do we have here? They seem to be fans made of lasers. Huh, not the most effective method of killing. But they're a pretty effective method of hurting. Specifically, hurting me. Good thing you're so quick and nimble. Yeah, good thing. 
We have electric fans. You just gotta be careful. Shoot him down. And okay, good. We got we got some goodies. Goodie stuff. Oh wow, I got that one too. Outer space is without the coverage area. Kind of want to move slowly in this area because that train hurts a lot. I think one of my favorite lines in the game is coming up. And it totally makes sense. Alright. Should be something. Die, monster. Jesus Christ. Alright, goes right there. Just let the train pass one more time and let's go. What's my loot looking like? I only have one item. Comes to play, and now we're going down in the elevator. And then I like this. So true. Why didn't you warn him about it? Oh. Yeah, that's the thing I was talking about in the, in the trade room. Floor ice cream gives you health. It's true. It does give you help. Okay, good. So I still have this bunch of food. And now... Crap. Okay. There's a... Um, okay, good. I did it. There's a Zodiac Chamber here. We got through most of this level pretty quickly. I'm impressed. And we get the Scorpio Staff. Yay! My Zodiac side! Woohoo! And I just shot my Aether Ring. It's freaking great. Why? Why? I knew it. I knew it. Oh, there's an intensity game right there. Okay. I knew it. Yes. Yeah. Well, I can kill you and turn, turn you into a heart. Yay! Shoot! That's after we fight off all these enemies. Goodbye, Ethan. You got us through a lot. Goodbye, Ether Ring. A uh, Ether, a uh, Ether Foundation, huh? I think that's our the end is over there. So we're gonna ride on this grind rail in the next episode of Kicker's Uprising. All right. Next time on Characters Uprising, we're going to finish up Chapter 16, the RM Hive. See you guys then. We got through quite a bit of it.